Hey guys, so we have a treat today. Udacity sent me a, a free month on their program. Said, hey Dylan, we'd love for you to uh, do a sponsored video for us. And I said, I would love to do a sponsored video for you. One, because I'm a fan of Udacity. I've actually paid out of pocket uh, for the React Now degree course. But two, because I like money. Uh, <laughs> no. And I said, they said, what program would you like to review? And I, I said, I'd like to do the front end developer one. The reason for it is I, I'll be able to tell if it's a good program. I'll be able to dive into it and give some honest feedback as to what, you know, my subscribers can expect. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the become a front end developer nano degree program, see what they got to offer. <laughs> All right, so the very first thing that you're actually going to see is this welcome, and I really like this. The The reason for it is I think being able to get a sort of personalized support to the front-end dev now degree is really great. I also think it's kind of cool that you can see what it is you're going to be working on, what's important, as well as plan out your next two weeks and, and set up reminders. If you've ever heard any, anything about like what I find most important with learning to code and picking up a skill set, it's consistency. And that's why these last two really impressed me. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is actually my second nano degree I've done. I've gone through the React one, which I was pretty impressed with. I really enjoyed. And I, I went about two thirds of the way through and I, I discontinued that, not because I didn't find it valuable, but because I got hired a job in Angular. But one of the great things and one that I loved about it was the one-on-one -on -one technical mentors. So these are people that you can submit like your projects for, get advice from. They have like live ch uh, text chat that you can help and uh, one thing I, I didn't even know they had was a career coach someone who can help you review your resume because the thing that I find when I do my own one-on-one -on -one mentoring that people sort of struggle with is even if they have the skills they don't know how to market those skills how to create the document to get past that HR firewall and so this is something I, I particularly enjoy and of course a flexible learning plan you have to learn what works best for you to make sure that you succeed all right, so I just got done doing the questionnaire. I, I, I think since that's unique to everybody, just understand that it's going to help you come up with a plan and decide if you're going to jump right into um, the sort of mentoring. Now, let's look at what sort of projects they have. We have a portfolio site. I absolutely love that portfolio site. I, I don't know if these go in order, but I'm going to say they do. Uh, but uh, I, I love that the portfolio site is one of the first ones here because um, the idea here being that you need a place to, to you know, every, every job app that you fill out is going to ask you for a portfolio site or your website, and this is something, a good place to start. So we have cool, a memory game, a classic arcade game clone. Uh, I like that we're doing games because it actually gets you to interact in the DOM. Sometimes the hardest thing for a lot of uh, junior developers getting going is how to like, what do I do to interact with the DOM? How does JavaScript actually work? And that's going to be good. Um, improve your LinkedIn profile. I love this quite a bit. I, this is one of the things I do some mentoring on, as well as your GitHub portfolio and how you can, um, you know, change that. Because people do look at these things when you're looking for roles, whether it's recruiters or whether it's devs when they're looking at, you know, if you're right or not. And then, of course, uh, a nice restaurant review app, which is a very real world sort of um application the one thing i would say that i i think would be very helpful that i if i was to make a suggestion about what sort of project i also would like on here would be some sort of e-commerce application now i think the restaurant review app might might um go ahead and do some of that stuff but let's see if i can dive deeper into the onboarding now oh, it's asking me to do this uh because i'm still going through here but i i hope that this takes a very e-commerce type approach to it because that's a very real world situation you're gonna have to deal with so they recommend that you plan about 10 hours a week in the classroom, which, um, you know, for the first two weeks to give, and they base that off of 10,000. So it's kind of cool that they're basing it off data. Now, uh, I would say that 10 hours a week is sort of the bare minimum. And I would also suggest that uh, sometimes people try to put 10 hours in on a Saturday and a Friday or something like that, that that would be uh, my, my personal opinion would be go ahead and try to put about an hour to two hours a day in consistently every single day. And that'll probably work out best for you. All right. And then of course you can go ahead and create your schedule, set reminders. So, um, you know, depending on what works best with your schedule, I'm a morning guy. So we'll go ahead and break it up so you can see that if you were to work seven days a week it's about an hour and a half a day which isn't too bad and of course we can do the same for week two so i really 
actually like that this is part of it. I don't remember this. I think this is a, a new thing. I don't remember this being part of the Rack Now degree. Now, when I did that, that was probably two and a half years ago or two years ago. And then um, you can have add it to however you want. Uh, continue on to next. Uh, meet your mentor. Uh, a little bit of mentor. We can uh, we reach back out to Erica at a later date. And let's go to the classroom. So let's look over the core curriculum so that you can get an idea of what it is that you'll be doing. So as we mentioned, there is about seven projects. We already sort of talked about them, went through them very briefly. It looks like part one is the sort of introduction, how this program is going to work. It's only about 32 minutes of estimated time. So really, that's just there for you to say, hey, this is how you're going to succeed here, which sometimes people like to skip over stuff like this. I think that's a mistake. I think this will teach you exactly what you need to do to be successful, which is why they have that intro program. Building blocks of front end web dev. Um, you'll be getting a PDF file as a design mockup, something that might actually happen to you. Now, uh, you might also get something like a uh, Envision or a um, sketch file down the road, but the, the premise is the same, is that we're going to hand you an asset and you have to go and, and make that. Um, you're gonna deal with responsive design, which is something I like to see, and your first project's portfolio site, excellent. You're going to continue to work on HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, let's see, uh, you're gonna be doing quite a bit of DOM manipulation, I would imagine, in this, yeah, so JavaScript in the DOM, web accessibility. This is particularly important because as, you know, there's actually laws in place that you have to build web applications that are, um, you know, for the disabled, you can see here, you're gonna learn about screen re readers and things like that. And you know, next is object-oriented JavaScript, which is equally as important. And as you move on to more advanced programs and and items like that, this specific topic, you're gonna to either dive into object-oriented or functional, and TypeScript typically is used for object-oriented programming, and it's something that you're gonna pick up later on in your career. And you're gonna build another uh, classic arcade game clone. Which classic arcade game? Will it tell me? I'm just curious. I've played quite a few classic arcade games. Let me see here. Uh, and by the way, I like that um, one thing that I forgot to mention, it's been a while since I did the projects in here, but I like that they actually give you this sort of acceptance criteria and they break it out like this because although you're not going to get it exactly this, this way, you are going to get acceptance criteria. You are going to get uh, user stories. And so you're going to get requirements. So that's what that is as you're moving forward. Oh my goodness, they have testing. I, so... I am thoroughly impressed that there's testing. One thing I, I tell people all the time, and even test-driven development, we'll see if they, um, test-driven development is, is slightly different than testing. It involves testing, but it's a way of actually coding. And that's a very high level thing that I'm surprised they put in here, but I love that they put testing as a skill in here. People ask me, what's one thing that you can showcase that you're, you're better than the average junior developer and you can have tests, unit tests. So I like that they're doing that. And, uh, you're going to, it looks like, end up, oh my goodness, they're actually going there. All right, excellent. This is a, a significantly uh, exciting uh, program. So not only do we have testing, but we're actually going into progressive web apps or PWAs, and we are going to actually build a client-side caching application. Now what that, uh, what you're going to introduce is client side caching, which that means is that your application that you're going to be building here will actually run without the internet after a user has used it. And you can add it to your phone. It's going to perform very much like a native application. This is one of the, so like when I tell people things that impress me as someone who's interviewed hundred candidates, it's one thing is have a portfolio so I can see what you're about. Two is have testing. Three is um, if you want to really do something, you know, have something cutting or bleeding edge and sort of progressive web apps, client side caching, service workers, all that sort of stuff is absolutely fantastic to um, showcase your, your skill set and show that you're learning. And I really like that it's there. And then, of course, they have what's next. And uh, I, I also like that they include um, extracurricular. So um, get started with uh, web forms. So you're obviously you're going to need to be comfortable with forms. A lot of uh, your job is just manipulating data. Um, HTTP, six hour, seven hour course on that. This is something you're gonna definitely need to know. Um, Unix, I, eh. 
It's cool that it's there. I don't think you really need to know it. Version control, absolutely. Although I don't know what you need 14 hours to learn Git and GitHub for us. And then uh, jQuery, I almost hate that they include this because chances are if you're working, uh, you know, in a sort of enterprise company, you're going to be working in React, probably Angular. Um, but jQuery is sort of, jQuery is great for a point in time, but, you know, you'll, you'll see later on that not necessarily... Um, the uh, best use of your time because uh, more often than not you're going to be using additional frameworks. And then uh, it looks like, what happened here? Oh, these are the sections broken up into each one. So we were just looking at a high level um, introduction. So um, at the end of the day, I, I'm actually very happy with what they, what they have to offer. I would say that um, as you're working through this, the one thing you, you, you know, you want to stick to a plan and make sure that you you continue uh, to work forward and, and stay on track and be able to, to finish this nano degree in an acceptable amount of time. But uh, for what they have to offer, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I've, like I mentioned, I did the React one. I was very happy with it. And uh, I'm very happy that, you know, you'd ask you to reach out to me and say, hey, you want to take a look at our nano degree and see what's there? Now, I don't just want to sit here kissing uh, their butts and phrases. I want to tell you some additional things that I wish they would add. Um, and maybe they have it in here. But one thing that I think a lot of JavaScript developers suffer with is sort of the intricacies of JavaScript and making sure that you understand the um, sort of fundamental funniness is what I like to call it of JavaScript. And I hope they include a best practices section. Now, it may be in here. We didn't dive deep into there. But those are things that I always look for. One of the hardest things to teach a junior developer and or is um, to make sure that, and a front end developer in general, is to make sure that they are following good, clean code practices. And if you're dealing with object oriented program, it might be the solid principles and things like that. And those would be things that I hope that uh, they add to this program or if it's not already in there. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I, uh, I'm pretty excited to see this, and uh, I might actually. I got a free month from them in here. I'm, I might dive in and check out some of the uh, the um, uh, PWA parts. I, that's one thing that I'm really sort of a fan of. I did at my last job I really liked, uh, as well as some of the resume and LinkedIn stuff. So I really like that and the, the emphasis they've put on actually helping you to try and get a job. So I, I think they did a very good job on this program. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. And, of course, thank you to Udacity for the uh, sponsored video and uh, giving me a chance to check it out and give my opinion on it. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, check out the program in the description below. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.